Welcome back to First Coast Living, folks. I'm out here at Greenwood School where, as they say, no two students are created the same and neither is their learning style. I'm gonna take you through this place. It's amazing. And see why you wanna check out Greenwood School for your student. Come on. Hey, Mr. James, good to see you. How are you, Curtis? I'm doing great, I'm doing great. I'm excited I finally got a chance to get out and see the campus. Thanks for coming to see us. Uh, for those who may not know about Greenwood School, who are you? We're a small independent school for students from sixth to 12th grade who learn differently. It's that simple. I can tell you until I'm blue in the face, but honestly, showing you works a lot better. I'm excited. Let's go check it out. Let's. What the? Ballroom dancing? Ballroom dancing. It's an experiment we tried a few years ago. It stuck. The students love it. Believe it or not, they love it. I, I, I gotta say, I haven't seen that at a middle or, or high school ever. Right. It goes well with our band class and our chorus and every other class we have here, so. Very cool. Well, Mr. James, we keep reading more and more about studies that kids are learning differently and, and they have different needs at schools. What are they talking about in those studies? We've all heard about dyslexia, ADHD, all these learning differences that are diagnosed. And yes, we have means of treating those here, or at least helping with them. But quite honestly, if you drill down and find a child's strengths and their affinities, you use those to fill the problems they may have. Um, I like that. In addition to our normal classes, we also have tons of enrichment classes that focus on things that aren't traditional in your education. Yeah, systems. I saw the ballroom dancing and then exactly. I heard you have some trails where they get to go out in the woods. Yes, we during do. During class? Are you kidding me? Of course we do. Let's go there. And yeah, you talk about the nature trails you got here. Is that one of the things you guys use to answer some of those, those issues? Absolutely. There's enough research out there that shows a student in the wild, so to speak, uh, absorbs things better, it calms them down, it helps with focus, and quite honestly, it makes the brain work better. That's way better than a textbook, actually getting oh. to go out into the wetlands and, and it, see these creatures up close. It sounds really sciencey, but it's amazing how many reasons a lit teacher or a history teacher or anyone else can find to go out in these woods. Uh, it's peaceful, it's relaxing, it's fantastic. You have 10 acres of this? 10 acres, uh, mostly left wild because that's the way it should be. The birds prefer it that way. Hands on, I love it. Absolutely. Very cool. I love how much of your campus is outside <laughs> and hands on. Monarch Way Station, yep. how many schools have that? I honestly don't know, I've never heard about it until this place. Um, we have a butterfly garden that attracts, breeds, and releases uh, monarchs and lots of other butterflies, as you can see. Look at this. Um, what is, what's the great thing about this? it, well, the, the students have created all of this, um, and that's the value in education for us. From beginning to end, the students get to see the process and the science behind all of it. They actually tag the monarchs and release them, so we can track them to see if they're ending up where they're supposed to in their very long migration. You guys can uh, tag a butterfly? Yeah. <laughs> Well, the students can tag a butterfly. Man. Um, I may have to write to school. Well, yeah, and what, I, what impresses me most out here is not just the butterflies, but when you start looking a little closer, you get a certain ecosystem. You don't want a butterfly oh. <laughs> flying into that. What? But the little green bees and all the other things that exist out here. Casey would hate that. <laughs> Well, Mr. James, I know you talk about you have the standard sports that most kids are used to, but... We've got volleyball, basketball, flight football, and... Archery! You're giving these, <laughs> you're giving these kids weapons? This yep. is awesome! Not just weapons, but right here we have four instructors for archery as well. So they not only know how to use them, they know how to show other people how to use them. Well, I did a little bit of this for my Olympics previews. I previewed archery. Let me show you kids a thing or two. Well, that's really cool. I love the amount of activities and extracurricular stuff that you have for the students in Richmond. That's really cool. Yeah, and sorry about the archery. We also have fencing. You have fencing? We have fencing as well. You know what? I watched a lot of Game of Thrones. I think I could do that. That's all the experience um, you need. Well, I appreciate the tour. 
Thank you very much for coming. Time. Uh, but for anybody out there who's, who's thinking about Greenwood or, or wants to check it out, how do they how do they do it? Check us out online, greenwoodjacks.org, or give us a call, 726-5000, arrange a tour, bring friends and family, and check the place out. They can come out and do the same tour I did? Anytime they wish. I love it. I love it. you got to check it out, folks. Really, really cool school out here. Yeah. Thanks for the time. Thanks again. And uh, thanks to Greenwood School for having us out here. we got a whole bunch more coming up on First Coast Living. Stick around, folks. Be right back. Where are those swords? Thank <laughs> you.